Just want to welcome everyone to my studio. Just really pleased to have you all come in and see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm very happy that I was lucky to be a recipient of uh, a SCAC um, grant a few years ago. I wanted to start working in a new medium and I needed to purchase new materials and I'm very grateful to have had some support. My name is Janet Moore and I live right here in Shelburne and I'm a local visual artist and I have my art practice here and you're in my studio right now. I'd like to talk about the newer work that I did using these new materials. It's been a real exploration for me and it's helped me to grow in my art career, uh, take a leap in a new direction and it's been really wonderful for me. I picked up these new materials about three years ago and um, started slowly to experiment with them. And this last year with COVID is, of course, uh, had me in my studio in a fairly solid way. I guess having an artistic practice, um, you know, it's a solitary thing being in one studio, so my life hasn't really changed a huge amount other than uh, less socializing. But I did do a new body of work and I was really pleased to be able to present this work online um, through the Brownstone Art Gallery in Brooklyn, New York. Um, they became interested in my work and um, wanted to do a solo show for me. So I did that in November and December after having spent uh, the COVID months coming up here every day to work. Um, and so the new materials and my desire to learn something new all came to fruition. And um, so I'm here surrounded by some of the paintings from that show. So here I am in the corner of my studio where I like to work with oil paint and cold wax. Um, cold wax is, this is a form of encaustic work, which means you're working with wax, but it's different um, than the encaustics you might be used to in that the cold wax is, um, you don't need to heat it and have, um, trays with hot molten wax that you're working with and that's a bit more toxic. Cold wax comes in a paste, kind of like this. This has a nice citrusy smell. And I mix it with just regular oil paints, which are all here in my tubes. And, um, you know, a bit of solvent gets mixed in and then that becomes the medium I'm working with. Um, prior to this, I've been doing my work for many years in acrylic paint and uh, a variety of mixed media, but I had left oil behind probably in my 20s was the last time I worked with oil. So it was nice to come back to it. Um, and the reason I was attracted to um, oil and cold wax is I like the way it builds surface. Um, it's just got a really nice yummy texture to it and I just really wanted to explore it. I'd seen other artists' works that I admired and I thought, oh, okay, I want to try that. Um, and so it was a progression in my, uh, in my bag of tricks as an artist, I guess. Um, so this is, these are the tools I've used. I've been doing a lot of mixed media work. I don't know if you can see these. These are little sketches and every day when I would come to my studio I uh, I sometimes loosen up with a series of exercises just doing little small pieces like this these aren't completed they're in progress but um, I've made them using some of my own collage papers that I've made uh, on a very thin rice paper and then I cut them up and you can see in the work there's um, where I've applied it to the surface and, you know, mixed the paint with cold wax and uh, worked on these. And those are sitting here ready for completion, as is most of the work that you can see behind me here. All of this is just works at various stages of completion, but none of them are quite done. This body of work has been created during my isolation due to COVID-19. Not that I've been sick with the virus. It's just been the need to take only measured and considered risks when it comes to interactions. It has been a quiet and focused time. Close to home, my studio is just a short walk up the lane. 
During my morning stroll towards this destination, I would tune into the thoughts and feelings that became the starting point for my day's work in the studio. Each day I would begin work with the process of mark making on paper, a quick series of exercises that eventually turned into the nine panel painting salutation. I usually have several paintings on the go simultaneously and my attention would then move to building layers of paint, mark making, medium and collage on the paintings currently taking form. One day rolled into the next, giving rise to the mini series of paintings titled Another Day. Simultaneously, the layered abstracts that changed from day to day visually chronicled the passage of time. A few were completed quickly and others required more contemplation and daily visits before finding a conclusion. Still others morphed into more recognizable forms, becoming the mixed media series, Life is Still. Twyla Thorpe once said, art is the only way to run away without leaving home, a sentiment I understand well. However, at this time, in this place, I would have to say that my studio time since the beginning of this turbulent pandemic has been more about finding equanimity. In her book, Real Changes, Sharon Salzberg, a teacher of Buddhist mindfulness meditation writes, equanimity holds it all. Peace is not about moving away from or transcending all the pain in order to travel to an easeful, spacious realm of relief. We cradle both the immense sorrow and the wondrousness of life at the same time. Being able to be fully present with both is the gift equanimity gives us. Spacious stillness, radiant calm. Although I do very detailed work, most people are familiar with my landscape art, uh, here in this community anyway. Um, and, uh, you know, pieces like this dress that's coming into being behind me over there. Um, they're very, very detailed, very super realistic. And what the oil and cold wax has kind of allowed me to do in a, in a freer and different way is to move into doing abstract work again, which I've done off and on um, through the years of my career. Um, but um, just nice to come home to that too and uh, um, just feel a little differently about the work, you know. Um, sometimes I find I'm able to um, delve a little deeper into my emotional life and, and find expression through working um, outside of, uh, of super realistic uh, subjects. And so this gives me a chance to not only explore the medium in a new way, but explore my own inner reality as well and share that. One of the things I love about oil and cold wax is that it's a, it's an ongoing process. You put a layer of paint on and it, you let it semi-dry and then you can use tools like these. I guess these are more like pottery and sculpting tools to scrape back off the painting. So it's a whole process of, of concealing and then revealing and then concealing again. And the little bits and pieces that show through. I'm, I always think it's like memory, you know, like we do change our storyline as we move along. And, you know, sometimes our memories aren't totally true to where we've been, but I like the way little bits and pieces surface here and there and remind us of, of that. And, we all have people in our lives that like to remind us of that too. But I, I like the process of conceal and reveal, and I like the kind of surprises that happen. It's in your control, but it's not 100%, right? So sometimes you become surprised with what you scrape off in a layer and show from beneath. Um, and uh, so I have a lot of different tools that I do that with. Um, surprisingly to some of you, maybe these spatulas, this is a bowl scraper, a silicone bowl scraper, and I have to say I do a lot. I don't work with brushes at all in this medium. I, I use mostly these kinds of tools and paint with this to put it on, and sometimes you can do um, a really thin coating of paint using these brayers that are often used, or rollers that are used with printmaking. So we borrow from a lot of different art forms when we're working in this medium. Um, these are uh, oil sticks. Here's a great big 
thick fat bark and they make really lovely juicy kind of lines and it's just really fun to experiment with. I've been having a grand old time here in my studio doing this kind of work, a little scraffito tool so I can draw lines with that and then put paint on and scrape it off and then the line shows in a different color. It's really, it's really fun. Um, and you can also use a solvent to dissolve back into the painting surface and that's another way of revealing what's underneath. So it's been a really uh, pleasing process doing this kind of work and uh, I'm gonna keep at it for years to come, I think. So I just wanna go back to saying how grateful I am to SCAC for their support that's allowed me to move more quickly into doing something new than I would have been able to do on my own, so.